Hey all, I want to share with you a quick tip on making scotch tape on your digital scrapping layouts a little bit more realistic. I have the same piece of tape on the right as I do the left. However, you can see the left piece looks a little bit more realistic. I'm going to go ahead and remove that adjustment so you can see the before and then the after to see how that makes it a lot more realistic. I do have a quick tip video with some of these techniques but this is going to help put a little bit of an application to some of these quick tips, my previous quick tips. What I need to do is select the part of this tape that is only covering the photo. Now you might start with um, just holding down your control key and clicking on the thumbnail of this layer to get marching ants of the tape. However, you see because the tape is so transparent you get this error message that says it cannot select it because there's not enough pixels. So we have to do a little funky workaround. I am going to uh, duplicate this layer by pressing Control J on my keyboard and then I'm going to go to my effects palette come on effects palette and in the drop down menu I'm going to choose stroke and I'm going to apply a little bit of a stroke to it you see that immediately it takes away the opacity of the layout or of the um, piece of tape. So I'm going to click on the layer styles because it is a three pixel that I've chosen and we don't want our selection to be that much larger than the original. So I'm dropping that down to one, right clicking and choosing simplify. And now when I hold down my control key and click on the thumbnail of this layer, you see it gives me the marching ants. Now I could just make this invisible or I could even just delete it. I'm not going to need it anymore now that I have my selection. And now I need to remove that part of the selection that is outside of the frame and the photo. So I'm going to get my polygonal lasso tool and I'm going to choose subtract from this selection at the top. And I'm going to click down right on the edge of this frame. I'm going to move all the way to the corner and click down. I'm going to move past the tape here, click down, move over here, click down. What I'm doing now is simply drawing around the outside of the frame. When I get down here into the end, if I just double click, it will finish off my selection and subtract it. Now you can see I have that area of my tape selected that only covers the frame. Now in order to do this next part we have to make all of the layers invisible but what we want to copy which would be the frame and the photo. And if I go up to edit copy merge and then edit and paste, you're going to see it creates a new layer. I'm going to go ahead and grab my move tool so you can see it of that part that we had selected in the frame. Let's get it to go back in place. Um, I'm going to go ahead and lower the layer and then I want to um, make my tape visible again and might as well make my background visible again and what I want to do now is make an adjustment layer so I'm going to click the new adjustment layer icon for levels and I'm going to lighten up this piece of tape because what happens is when the uh, the tape that covers the part of whatever it is you're taping down, in this instance the photo and the frame, it becomes a little bit lighter. Why? Because it's a little bit higher up 
and the sunlight or whatever your lighting source is hits it um, a little bit. So I'm going to now group this only with our adjustment layer here by hitting Control G on the keyboard. So now you can see that area that's over the frame in the photo is, is a little bit lighter. I'm going to remove the adjustment and then put the adjustment back on. And remove the adjustment and then put the adjustment back on. You can see how that makes it so much more realistic. So I hope you've learned a lot by this little bitty technique um, tip. It's a little bit confusing, a little bit complicated, but I am sure that you can do it.